we'll be basically working on to solve the numerical problems that are assessed generally in IGCSC kind of questions. So here is a sample example, like let's say in a school, uh, 24 members are there in athletics club and um, there are 30 members uh, in basketball club and 36 member in drama club. There are five students in all three clubs. So now first thing is that when you have this kind of problem, you need to draw a relevant Venn diagram. Uh, 12 students are member of both, 13 are members of basketball club and athletics club, and 19 are in drama and basketball both. How many students are a member of basketball club but are not member of the other one? And secondly, how many students are member of one or more of the clubs? So let's first understand how it works. So we need to draw a Venn diagram. So first let's draw a Venn diagram. So we create a universal set first. So let's create a universal set. So let's say this is the universal set here. And then let's go on creating the three other clubs. So this is like club one, this is, this is club two, and this is club three. Now let's say this one, uh, first one what I'm gonna name is basically athletics club. This one is the trauma club, and this one is a basketball club. So what they're saying is in 24 students are member of athletics club. So in athletics in total, there should be 24. In drama, there should 30 are uh, in basketball. So they're in total combined together in basketball, there should be 30. And in drama, there are 36 students. So in let's in drama, in total, there are 36 students. Number one, let's uh, start with the in core information. The five students are member of all three clubs. So five are member of all three means this is the part which is five. Now, the next one are, uh, 12 are the members of both athletics and drama. So athletics and drama is this overlap, including this five. So what you need to do is you need to find how many are like only athletics and drama, like this five people have also taken the basketball. So A and D will in short will be only seven because combined together should be 12. 13 are the members of the basketball and athletics. So 13 are basketball and athletics. So this combined together, this part should be 13. So this part will be eight. Now, 19 are the member of drama club and the basketball club. So 19 are the members of drama and basketball. So this in total should be 19. And out of that, this is already five. So this will be 14. Now what we have to do is we have to find out these numbers which have taken only athletics, only drama, or only basketball. So let's see, um, only athletics will be obviously 24 minus, let's say seven minus five minus eight, because this part is inclusive of these three other uh, parts. So 24 minus, let's say 12 minus eight, which is basically 24 minus 20, that is four. So th there are only four people who have taken only athletics. Now to similarly to find out how many people have taken only drama. So let's say when you have, when you're finding only drama people, so it'll be 36 minus, let's say seven plus five is 12 and 12 plus 14, that's your uh, 26. So there are only 10 people have taken basically only drama. Coming to find out how many people have taken only basketball. So only basketball, just in total, there are 30 people. So with 30 minus eight, this will be eight minus five minus 14. So these are the people who needs to be subtracted. So here will be eight, five is 30, eight, eight, 13 minus 14. So 30 minus basically 27, which is three. So there are three members who are only in the basketball. That answers basically uh, the, at least the basic like information that we have. Now let's understand how many students are there in the, um, are the member of basketball club, but are not member of the other two clubs. So basketball club you can see is basically only these three, 
only basketball. So they're asking basically only basketball. So that is only three members. How many students are member of one or uh, more of the club? So that basically is this, like one or more means it, a total number of students that are in this. So that is gonna be, you're gonna start adding them. So the best way is at least take one entire set. You know, this entire set is 24. So take that, so 24 plus then you have 14 plus 40 because 24 once you take this entire set comes. So you have to just add 14 plus 10 plus three. So that comes out to be 38 plus 10 plus three, which is 48 plus three. That comes out to be 51. So in total, there are 51 members who are part of one or more club. Now, what would be really interesting is to actually answer some of the questions that are on probability in this part. So let's say when question is that, let's say a random person who is part of at least one of one or more clubs means you're selecting a random person from 51 people like 51 people who have basically taken one or more clubs what is the probability that he is part of only athletics team so one person who is only part of athletics team so athletics only athletics is going to be four over 51 because desired is four people have taken only athletics. My question was, find out a uh, probability that from the people who have taken at least one club, what is the probability that the that random selected person has taken only athletics? So four out of 51. Similarly, if I'm asking, let's say there are two people who are selected. There are two people who are selected uh, from let's say this set, which is um, at least one people, one person uh, taking at least one club, what's the probability that um, uh, both the person which you're selecting have taken all three sports, all three clubs? So the question is, a random, two random people are selected from this 51 people. What is the probability that both of them have taken all three clubs? So that is going to be, so probability of selecting first person who has taken all three clubs will be five out of 51. Now, since you have selected one person already, now you will have in total, when you're going to select the next person, you will have one person from total less. So it'll be nothing but um, 50. And uh, this will be total be four because one person is already gone. So five out of 51 times four on 50. Now, why are we multiplying? These two events, uh, when you're multiplying, they have generally like, you know, and, and, or situation. When you have and, you always multiply, wherever you have or, you always add. So, and, so first person, you're selecting two people. So first and second. So probability of first is five on 51 times four on 50. So this is how, this will be the net probability of two people taking all three clubs. Now, let's say I'm asking, uh, one more question is, um, let's say two random people are selected. Let's say three random people are selected um, from the uh, club, uh, at least who have taken one club. What is the probability that all three are from, who have taken all three sports, all three clubs? So first will be five on 51, next will be four on 50, and third will be three on 49 because now there are three people you selected. So that's how you do the probability based questions and set questions. Let's take some more examples. So this is the second problem which we are gonna take about mixed question on notation and the word problems. So um, here are the universal set, this is generally used for universal set. And if universal set has one, two, three, four, and five elements, out of that A is one, two, three, B is five, C is three and four. So you can see that none of them have any intersection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically, uh, I mean, this A and C have an intersection because you can see the common is three. And so A and C, you're gonna draw together. So A and C have an intersection of three and one and two are here. And also C has four. So these are the condition here. 
and B has five. So there are no other elements that are left outside. So that's, so this is B. Now you have to find out, list the elements in A union C. Of course, that's gonna be one, two, three, four. That's the listing of elements. Now B complement, intersection C complement. Now you've got to see B complement means outside B and outside C. So outside B and outside C. So outside B is basically this entire stuff, which is this, and outside C is one and two. So only one and two is basically common. That is like B complement will be outside B, which is this part, entire thing. And outside C will be this part, which is like these. So you can see that that's common. What, you, what particle have common in both is only one and two. So that will be one and two here. So this, this, this will be the elements. The next part is a group of 60 children uh, uh, attend an after school club, uh, 35 play football, 29 hockey, three play neither of the three, three uh, do not play either football or hockey. So let's say uh, draw a Venn diagram and find out the number of children who play only hockey. So let's try to see how do we do this. Now, first thing you're going to draw a Venn diagram for this. So Venn diagram is going to be you have, let's say, this is the hockey club, football club, let's say, and this part is going to be the hockey club. And they're saying that three play neither of the sports. So you take three outside and um, 35 play football. So 35 play football and um, uh, 29 play hockey. The next part is you have to find out the number of children who play only hockey. So what is gonna be the context here is that you need to understand how many people play at least one sports. So there are total 60 children out of the three are playing none. So this combined together will be 57. So how do we start is let's, let's take that this X number of people play both the sports. So this is the working you're supposed to show in the exam. So this let's say this X people who play both this will be 35 minus X and this will be 29 minus X and this combined together should be 57 because three are subtracted from 60. So it'll be 35 minus X plus X plus 29 minus X. This should be equals to 57. So what do we get is this get canceled. We get 35 plus 29. So this will be four and three plus two is five, so it'll be 64 minus X equals to 57. And then you solve for X. So it'll be 64 minus 57 equals to X. So that comes to be, there are seven people who play both the sports. Now, since you got this as seven, and the question here is that how many play only hockey? So only hockey will be this area, which is 29 minus X. Since you got this as seven, this is 29 minus seven, which is gonna be 22 people. So there are 22 people who play only hockey. Now, once again, let's build up some question on this, that let's say there are two people who are randomly selected from this entire uh, group of kids, 60 kids. What is the probability? They both play only hockey. So when they say, both play only hockey means it can be uh, first will be 22 over 60. First person to play only hockey will be 22 over 60 times. Second person also plays hockey. So it'll be 21 out of 59. So this is the probability. Now the second case is that first play football and second play hockey. First student who you pick up plays only football and second one plays only hockey. They're being very explicit. The first one plays only football and second one plays only hockey. There is no order swap. So when I say first play only football, so let's say first play only football, so it'll be 35 minus seven, which will be 28 here. So let's say 35 minus seven uh, is 28 here, yeah. So 28 over 60, that's gonna be first person playing football. And now there are in total 59 left. So from there, 22 over, 59 because first person play for only football that's 28 and times 22 over 59 
Now, if it can, if it is like this, one of them play only football and one of them play only hockey. So in that case, you can have two conditions. So the first student who you selected plays, let's say, football, and second one plays hockey, or it can be second place football and first place hockey. So in that case, you can just swap. So it'll be, let's say, uh, first case is that uh, I'm just giving the question as one of them, uh, one of them play uh, only football, only football, and one of them only hockey. So it can be football, hockey, or hockey, football. So football is basically only football will be 28 out of 60 times only hockey will be 22 out of 59. Or now whenever there's an or, you add. Or it will be first person plays hockey. So it'll be 22 over 60 times uh, second place football. So it'll be 28 over 59. Or so in short, what you can say is if you double this answer, that's what you get. Because you can see the denominator are same, numerator is the same. It's just the order has been switched. So that's the that's the way you do such problems.